Have a good day. So, you're back. And in one piece. We heard the howling and feared the worst. But it looks like you triumphed over the beast. A hero of your stature deserves the glory of fighting in the arena. Your nomination should be waiting for you when you return to the guild. Oh, and speaking of the guild, they sent this letter for you from your sister. I hope it's good news. Check the guild for more wrestlers. <laughs> I'm pleased to serve you. No wonder you've been nominated for the arena. You did the impossible. Ooh. Ooh. I can't believe that. I got Welcome to the arena. Tom does the entrance applications. Talk to him. You come in to spectate or participate? Participate, eh? Well, you'll need a nomination from the Guild, just like everyone else. You've already got one. My apologies. You can go in any time you like. This way, please. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes! If you follow me, I'll take you to the arena preparation area. I tell you, the history of this place is wasted on the public. The arena's first heroes, our land's heritage. But do people care? Nah. People don't want history, they want the heroes of today. Still, I suppose every era needs its own heroes. Hmm, quite profound that. You can quote me if you like. Welcome to the Witchwood Arena. A couple of basic points first. First of all, I must remind you to keep your aggression for the arena itself. Anyone caught trying to cut up his rivals in here will be in trouble. You have been warned. Secondly, the way out. You can come in after each round, not during a round. Ralph, it's getting really ugly out there. All right, you, chameleon. You've heard all this before. Go on for the first round and keep the crowd happy. No problem. This'll be easy. Okay. When it's your turn, I'll call your name and you will enter the arena through the door our friend Chameleon just used. Once in the arena, you will battle foes from all over Albion. Every group of creatures you defeat wins your prize money and increases the prize for the next round. The aim is to stay out there as long as you can to earn the big gold. Now, you can come back here anytime you like to buy potions or more equipment. Do this though and your price for the next round will be zero. And worse, the crowd will think you're a big loser. Real heroes get out there and stay out there. Whether you rest or not, the arena bonus prize given by Jack of Blades himself will go to whoever gets through every single round alive. So, get out there, use your skills well, make sure the crowd enjoys it, and if you have to die, do so bravely. The rest of you, wait your turn. Sorry about the lack of introduction. We have a full stadium and I want action. I'm Wrath. I look after everything behind the scenes here. If you need any advice about fighting in the arena, come and talk to me. Oh, your worshipness. Hello. Oh, Hello, yes. One. Whoa! I'm pleased to serve you.
No wonder you've been nominated for the... Ah, I'm pleased to serve you. No wonder you've been nominated for the arena. You did the impossible. Jesus. Huh, why bandit go first? Me wanna kill. Me flick, me training since child. Me gonna win arena and marry Lady Grey. Me like Lady Grey. Um, can't you see I'm trying to meditate? It might be me next. I have to be ready. Ah, hello there. Bet you're raring to get out there, aren't you? The ones who rush out are the first ones back. I've seen Chameleon fight. He isn't going to last long, let me tell you. Oh, yes! Wow! Yeah! First thing fighters learn here, buy potions, lots of them. Back for more advice? Alright, always make sure you please the crowd. If they like you, they might throw you a few goodies. Only two heroes have beaten the arena without taking a break. Thunder and Jack of Blades. They could have bought most of Albion with the gold they got for that. They could have bought all the women, too. <laughs> I've heard tell of you, Pilgrim. Ah. Wonderful! Wow! Hey. I'm pleased to serve you. No wonder you've been nominated for the arena. <laughs> this is certainly the one they call Pill. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Play blackjack. Uh, Roth, bad news. I think Chameleon's, uh, you know, dead. What? Already? The idiot. Right, people. It seems Chameleon only made it through three rounds before dying like a chicken in front of 5,000 people. We need a new volunteer. New man, you look ready. In you go. Talk to Al up by the door. He'll let you into the arena. Beer, oh, if you yes. Would. This is so. Right, I can let you in now. You sure you're ready? Ah, round one. They always tell me this one gives them the biggest, uh, buzz. Buzz. <laughs> That's a good one, Al. Buzz. <laughs> Funny. Ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, I give you Pilgrim. Famous for such quests as Richard Farm and defeating X-Hero Twin Blade. Like our other brave challengers, this something coming hopeful has an eye on tonight's grand prize. Presented by Jack of Blades himself. And we're on to the first round. An old arena favorite, it's the Wasp Horde! Fighting like that earns 100 gold! The next round will be worth 500 gold! He may be new to the arena, but he's got through round one. Let's see how he does with the second round. It's an audience favorite, the cruel, the smelly Hobbs! Three, two, one, go!
That's another 500 gold. 600 gold earned so far. <laughs> and there's another 1,000 up for grabs in the next round. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the team rounds. Two heroes, side by side, fighting together for their very survival. And there's been a last minute change to the hero lineup. It's the sister of arena legend, Thunder. Let's hear it for Whisper. So, the two of them together, can they defeat the Balverines? Three, two, one, go!
Nice round thousand gold reward. Wow! Sixteen hundred in the bag. And there's another two thousand on offer for the next round. These two did a great job last round, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a big hand. The next round is a real favorite this year. Anyone who's braved Litchfield Graveyard recently will know what I'm talking about. It's the undead! Three, two, one, go!
I hope that was worth 2,000 gold. I reckon it was. They've earned 3,600 gold. But will they stay for another round to net them another 3,000? The competition's hotting up. We've already lost three heroes. Well, it's time to make our surviving combatants even more nervous. It's round five, and here they are. Spared from the headsman's block, let's have a big hand for the bandits of the Black Hand Gang. Three, two, one, go! Ha. I almost killed this one. Uh. Oh, come on. Three. Two. Your health is critical. See that?
A cool 3,000 more gold for that. They've banked 6,600 gold. And if that wasn't enough, another 4,000 is available for the next round. Our intrepid heroes have made light work of wasps, bandits, hubs, balverines, and even undead. What's next? What could possibly pose a threat to our noble combatants? Ladies and gentlemen, it's round six. The mighty Earth Trolls, Ingrid and Bertha. Three, two, one. Wow, a total of 10,600 gold! Enough for a small house! Do they want another 8,000 gold? Things are getting very tough for our contestants. We can all see that they're feeling the strain. But what stands between our noble heroes and their winning? Is that a pile of rubble? No, it's the Rock Trolls, Stanoth and Groin! Three, two, one, go!
Another 8,000 gold. 18,600 in the bag. And only one round to go. Is it worth dying for another 10,000? Ladies and gentlemen. Today, you have seen the best of Albion's arena fighters. Put your hands together for our successful heroes. But now, round eight, the final battle. I give you Arachnox. Three, two, one, go.
Arena Bank is truly broken. That's another 10,000 gold. This is for a massive total of 28,600 gold. We have two winners. Incredible. So, what will happen? Two winners and only one prize? Well, as you know, we have a special guest here today. It's the one, the only, the hero of heroes, Jack of Blades! I have returned. After an eternity away from you all, Jack of Blades is back. This arena is all that is great in Albion, and you all that is worthy of it. I am honored to stand before you again. And I have a proposal to mark the occasion. One final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. The winner will receive a special prize. The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. What do they think they're doing? They can't do this. I'm going to put on a good fight. But I'm not killing you. I can't kill you. We came here to put on a good show. And that's what we're going to do. Let's go. <laughs> Boy, we agreed. Just walk out. We agreed. Let's stop fighting now. But my dear lady, it was mere luck. He's nothing but a... Ah, there you are. The hero they're all talking about. I'm impressed. And that doesn't happen often. But I forgot my manners. I am Lady Grey. The Mayor of Bowerstone. I can see you are a man of worth. You should pay me a visit at my Bowerstone North Manor. My lady, if you would only li- Fanda, I am tired of your protests. Tired of your jealousy. The time of your glory is long gone. You should learn to accept that. As I was saying, Hero, I do hope you will accept my invitation. We have much to discuss.
This is not over. New blood spills just like any other. And yours will spill soon. That was unbelievable. I haven't seen anything like it for a long time. I'll guide you back through the Hall of Heroes. You truly deserve to stand amongst them. I must say, you remind me of someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Robe. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. She was a fine hero, just as soft-hearted as you. But her dedication came with a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude, crushed by her failure to save her family long ago. And yet here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood. And in your sister's too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. This was the true face of his mother. Scarlet Robe, Slayer of Balverines. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all of Albion. Yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Balverines, Scarlet killed them all only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman who tended her back to health. In time they married and had two children, a girl and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Whatever you decide, You've earned the champion seal. People everywhere will recognize you as the winner of the arena, and it will grant you access to Barriston North. Don't lose it. It is rather valuable. Wonderful! Hey you, Teresa wants you to meet her at the Grey House. You have reached famous status. Yeah, well, I suppose he didn't know it. He certainly dealt with Whisper. Yeah, you go, mate. It was pretty impressive. I'm going home to tell everyone. Brilliant. I made a fortune on you, my friend. Here, have this. You! Wow! You were superb! I couldn't believe it when you took down that scorpion! Uh, right. Uh, you were all right. I always say Oakvale breeds the best fighters. He's wonderful. Oh, yeah! Right! You! Hooray! Yeah! 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 Yeah!